guys, this is Caroline of Caroline's Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is a weekly plan with me for the week, uh, the last week in October, the week of Halloween. I used this kit that I've been holding onto for a very long time and looking forward to using. It's called Brave. And it is by Scribble Prints Co. Art by Kitness Chess. And the colors are just beautiful. The artwork is wonderful. I've looked forward to using this kit for such a long time since the kit was originally released. Um, these are just some of the other items that I'll be pulling in. Some foil from some different shops. Date dots from Harriet Wright Designs. And the, um, the tweezers that I'm using are from Revlon. The whiteout that I'm using is Bic brand. I am trying also the Tombow whiteout from Amazon. I haven't tried it um, extensively enough to give my thoughts on it. I did use a lot of it in the base for next, next week's spread, and the base for that spread took me a long time just because I had to use a lot of the whiteout and I was kind of getting the hang of it, so I feel like once I have a better handle on it, um, I can give more appropriate and accurate thoughts on it. Um, I did start off by putting in the date dots. This week I am going for a little bit of a mixed metal. I had originally intended to just use gold for this spread, but I wound up pulling in some rose gold bottom washi confetti overlays because it was all that I had left over in a color that coordinated with this spread. So it wound up being a mixed metal gold and rose gold, and then I just decided to kind of run with it, and I did an equal mix of gold and rose gold throughout the spread, so I alternated um, foils on each day, alternating between gold and rose gold on each day. You'll see more of that in a little bit when we get to the day by day. I put in a gold November script at the top of my sidebar. That script is from Rose Color Days. And then for headers, since I did not have the matching glitter header sampler, I'm pulling in alternating colors of the real glitter headers from the fall collection from Rose Color Days. There are three of the true glitter glitter headers in that collection, the gold, the brown, and a bright orange. I elected to skip the bright orange and just go for the brown and the gold alternating for this spread. I thought that the orange might be a little bit too much since there was a lot of orange in the spread and the orange of the headers is a little bit more on the red side rather than the more muted true orange of the oranges in the artwork, if that makes sense. So I elected to just use the gold and the brown for the headers, and now I'm putting in the bougie boxes. I used gold bougie boxes, overlay tapes from Rose Colored Days. Um, I pre-pulled these um, underlay tapes off of the roll just to save time. Um, I don't think that you see footage of all of these underlays going down, um, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Um, I know that's the case for next week's spread, that most of my footage for the base is missing. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> The rest of the base footage is missing for this one too. Um, putting down the weekend script there, and then I wanted to track reading and 
exercise this week, both using rose gold scripts from Scribble Prints Co. as well. Um, that Hello November script is from Rose Color Days, and that header overlay is from the Rose Color Days fall collection of varying colored overlay tapes. I'm pulling in a little bit of a full box overlay. I cut around some of the extra sticker paper to just get the deco to put in the corners of this little double box scene here that I put on across Friday and Saturday. That is one of the leaf overlays from the Rose Color Days fall release. Um, I tried to use as many of those as possible in my fall spreads because I probably won't be able to use them otherwise um, in a variety of colors. The overlay that you see on the bottom box in the sidebar is from Shop Jessica Hearts and it is in rose gold. I tried to readjust one of the full box overlays, but it didn't go well, so I just decided to leave it as is. And um, in a minute, I th I'm going to pull in that um, bottom washi overlay that you'll see in a little bit is the rose gold confetti from Glam Planner. I decided to do something a little bit different with the arrangement of my full boxes this week, moving the double box scene onto Friday and Saturday, and skipping a box on the bottom row just to try something different. Um, that little heart deco next to the YouTube script, I cut off of the bottom part of that overlay that's on the bottom box on the sidebar. And I wanted to make sure that I used it, so I moved it up there. On Monday, I'm just marking in coffee. As I mentioned, I'm alternating my scripts this week. So Monday, I decided to start with rose gold. That cat drinking pumpkin spice latte is from Mixy Cat Stuff. Their shop is linked below with a coupon code you can use. Um, Caroline15 for 15% 15 off at their shop. That dishes script is from Scribble Prints Co. I also put a flag overlay from their shop over that flag as well. The little dishes icon is from Harriet Wright Designs. I cut this rounded box in half and adjusted it to fit in that space. That is a trick for making larger boxes fit into smaller spaces that I have seen Andrea do before in her videos. I marked um, Monday meetings for work with a script from Letters to Apollo and those glasses are from Murdoch Talks. I marked folding laundry with a uh, detergent bottle from Franny Lamb Stickers on Etsy. And that fold stuff script is from Glam Planner, the rose gold foil binder bundle. I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Sloth Emoji on the computer to mark a trip that my husband and I took to his office to get his work laptop fixed. That with hub script is from Scribble Prints Co. The upload script that I used to mark uploading my plan with me is from Harriet Wright Designs and the work script um, is from Glam Planner. The coffee script on the top of Tuesday is from Murdoch Talks and I used a girl drinking iced coffee from the freebie that came with this kit. To mark school on Tuesday I used a script from Sticky Essentials and I marked testing appointment that happened this day with a munchkin from Once More With Love. 
That envelope is from Once on a Million. I used that to mark some Happy Meal that came in this day with a gold Happy Meal script from um, Kinsey's Creations. I used a filming tara from Pumpkin Paper Co. to mark filming this day. That script is also from Kinsey's Creations. I edited my monthly highlights video for October that went up um, Sunday, the day that I'm recording this voiceover. That little um, calendar is from the Coffee Monsters Co. The edit script is from Nettie Designs and the yoga time um, thing at the bottom, sticker at the bottom, is from Virgo and Paper. The planner on the bottom of Monday is also from Pumpkin Paper Co. The coffee cup on the top of Wednesday is from a Paperella story. I uploaded another video on Wednesday. Um, and the upload script is from Harriet Wright Designs, I believe, to mark school that day. I used a teeny from Glam Planner. I also marked cooking with a script from Sticky Essentials. I caught up on The Bachelorette this day, and I used a script from Letters to Apollo and a little script and icon from Franny Lamb stickers to mark that. I marked Zoom Yoga with a, a yoga girl from Virgo and Paper, and I marked Netflix with a script from Glam Planner and a munchkin watching Netflix from Once More with Love. Um, just filling in my sidebar trackers there. Tuesday morning, I'm marking coffee and YouTube with a script from Murdoch Talks and a coffee cup from the Deco from the Kit. Thursday was my husband and I's fourth engagement anniversary. So I'm using the little ring box icon from a Deco sheet from Scribble Prince Co. and a couple from Pumpkin Paper Co. And that little foil heart is from Harry Ride Designs. To mark school, I pulled in the book stack icon is from Mama Gloria Shop, and the script is from Sticky Essentials. I'm also marking um, testing appointments as well. Testing is now finished, thankfully, for the first quarter, which is exciting. You just have to do all of the data collection and reporting now. I used a little Miss Moss Girl doing laundry with a laundry script from Scribble Prints Co. And that cooking cat is from Mixie Cat Stuff. I used that to mark um, cooking dinner with my husband. We wanted to cook together to sort of celebrate our little engagement anniversary. The cook script is from Harriet Wright Designs. And I also um, FaceTimed or talked on the phone with my mom this evening. That FaceTime cat is from Mixie Cat Stuff and the FaceTime script is from Scribble Prints Co. Moving over to Friday, I marked in coffee with this coffee maker from Murdoch Talks and a need coffee script from Glam Planner. The coffee um, script sampler foil binder sheet. I used an icon from the kit to mark me time with a script from Scribble Prints Co. I also used an icon from the kit, the TV icon, to mark relaxing and catching up on YouTube. I also watched Rocky Horror Picture Show this day. Um, I pulled in a butterfly from NMH Creations, a deco sheet to mark yoga with a script from Harry Wright Designs. We also had an early release day from school, so I used that box with the munchkin and an early release script from Scribble Prince Co. to mark that. For my highlight for the week, I marked taking Halloween pictures. My husband and I took cute pictures together on Halloween just to mark and remind us of doing Halloween at home this year. I used a Hedgewig owl um, sticker and a read script from Scribble Prince Co. The 
icons for both of those top two things are from Scribble Prints Co. And I used an icon from the kit to mark Chick-fil-A with a Chick-fil-A script from a paperella story. I used a script from Glam Planner and an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark doing a spooky face mask on Halloween night. And my husband and I watched Hocus Pocus. That script on the bottom is an old one from 29 Sticker Co. I think their shop has since closed. On Sunday morning, I'm marking Sleep In with a sleep mask from a Paperella Story and a script from Glam Planner. That Instagram icon is from the kit, and I included an upload script from Harriet Wright Designs to mark uploading my October monthly highlights video. And then um, I'm switching that out for something else. I am going to use that little package icon to mark Happy Meal coming in this day. I marked Planning Time with a black script from Scribble Prince Co. And the Happy Meal script that I'm going to pull in is from Kinsey's Creations. I am marking Ordering Groceries with an icon from the kit and a grocery run script in black from Scribble Prints Co. as well. I put two of the icons from the kit together also to mark FaceTime with my mom using a gold script from Scribble Prints Co. to mark that. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you had a happy, fun, and safe Halloween if you celebrated. Let me know what you did to celebrate Halloween if you celebrated in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. Peace, love, and happy planning, everyone. Bye-bye.